there are some tricks. Um, actually, it will stay in tune better if it is floating, but you have to do some things that are a little bit heavy, maybe for some guys, maybe they'd want to take it to a guitar guy to have it done. But one of the things they do at Sir is they take the holes on the plate and they drill them a little, a drill bit size bigger, or maybe even two drill bit size bigger, so that the bridge is very loose. Because that's the main uh, fault of the Fender bridges, is that the hole is too small, and the screw catches on the edge of the hole and makes it go out of tune. And it's a very simple matter just You're to drill the holes six out. Right the, here. Six, the six holes yeah. in the plate, just drill this them bigger. The a, this has just got up. graphite. Well, first of all, if you don't have a guitar that's well made, if, 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 your, if your string is in a perfect straight line from the bridge to the edge of the tuning key, it's never going to stay in tune because there's going to be pressure on the side of the nut and it's not going to stay in tune. But a good guitar, like a good Fender or a good Sir or whatever, you're going to have a nice straight line right down all the way down to the bridge and that way if you just put a little graphite powder in the nut, it's going to stay in tune. And um, if it floats, if it's, it actually stays in tune better than if you have the, the, the uh, plate resting against the body because then it has nowhere to go back to. One of the cool things about a Strat, it's still pretty good in tune. If I go all the way down here, well, it's actually still in tune, but the G string went a little bit out. But if I do this, that usually knocks it back in. Yeah, so it's, it stays in tune pretty well. And, and a large part is due to the fact that the holes are bigger in the plate. That's one of the biggest things.